Hi, Jen here from Jen Michelle Coaching, and today I want to talk about shy versus introversion and which one are you. For those of you new to my channel, I would love to invite you to subscribe. I release a video weekly. This is a topic that I get a lot of questions on, so I wanted to just talk about some of these differences because they're easy to mix up. And so my goal in this video is to really point out that these are two separate things and knowing your personality and what you need to recharge and feel your best is so important as it relates to love and to life and to just feeling a sense of well-being and ease in the day to day. Number one, introversion is a need to turn inward and to rebalance and to recalibrate. I know for myself being an introvert, if I am really social or if I am out and about interacting with people, I absolutely need that downtime to recalibrate and just to rebalance and feel just like the best version of myself. So if I am doing something that's perceived as fun, it doesn't mean that that is my natural state of balance and rhythm. I actually, after having something that's you know determined to be fun, I need that alone time in my house, whether I'm reading or I'm just taking a bubble bath or I'm just you know sitting outside alone, but I'm taking a little time where I'm recharging and I'm not interacting with the world. So I'm really connecting to what's needed within and I'm honoring that. Extroversion's the opposite. You really feed and gain energy from those social situations and those interactions and you don't miss a beat and you just keep going and it invites you to charge and feel like the best version of yourself. And so really connecting to how you feel when you're out interacting in the world is really key to determining what the next steps are to be a higher quality and just to be a better version of yourself. Number two, shyness is a fear of negative evaluation. So it can be unhealthy in the sense where we're avoiding something because we're scared of how we're going to be viewed or perhaps there's like a low amount of social anxiety to it. And it kind of is a message of the way I'm presenting isn't enough. And so I want to avoid this or I don't want to have to deal with that kind of rejection. There's a, a negative sort of space within it where we're not feeling totally comfortable to show up as the most natural and authentic version of ourselves. And I'll give an example of this. I have a older son, my son who's 10, is really introverted. And sometimes when he's at social events, they will say, don't be shy and, you know, calling someone out for being shy can be really unhealthy because what you're saying is the way you're showing up is making me uncomfortable. And so I'm really protective of that and I invite you to notice anything within yourselves where you sort of feel this pressure to show up differently than who you are and instead to take a step back and really rebalance and recalibrate and just authentically be who you are and show up in that space with that sense of being enough and that however you are and what's more most natural and authentic to you is okay and if other people don't like it really just turning that noise off and rooting yourself in the truth of who you are and knowing that there is beauty and there is so much to be appreciated in that in a world where we tend to zone in on appreciating the loudest voice in the room. But there's so much wisdom and perspective to be gained to allowing that soft, more gentle light to shine. Number three, you can be both. You can be outgoing and introverted, which is what I kind of consider myself to be. I can be pretty outgoing in social situations, yet it doesn't mean that I want to just keep going nonstop. It means I can do this for a bit and then I'm going to need to take a break and I'm going to recharge. And it also means self-evaluating and asking myself, is the energy required in this situation going to make me feel of my highest quality 
or am I going to just really not be honoring myself by pushing myself? So really recognizing that nuance and being able to discern between pushing yourself to try new things or to enter new social situations, but also recognizing what that's going to give you and does it serve you being really of that higher quality that we've been talking about. You can also be a shy introvert, so you can be introverted and have that social anxiety and have some of that discomfort around, am I doing this right? Am I saying the right thing? Am I showing up the right way? We can be both of these things, and so I want to sort of emphasize that this is very fluid, and it's always about checking in with ourselves, noticing when fear is leading and when we can push ourselves and to notice the difference between that and when we just need to really honor ourselves and not make ourselves bad or wrong for doing it a certain way or having our needs be uniquely different from someone else's. All of the work that I do with women is really about giving yourself full permission and really recognizing those little nuances and how they add such tremendous quality in your ability to know yourself, to recognize what you need, and to really find that balance in the day-to-day. So if this is a topic that is meaningful to you, I do talk about this in several of my programs at jenmichellecoaching.com. I have my Magnetic sensitive, magnetic Sensitivity ebook, as well as my When He Walks Through the Door program that really supports you in drawing out and feeling confident in being that most natural version of yourself and to accepting yourself right where you are. So if this is a topic that's meaningful to you, please check those programs out and I'll see you all next week. Have a beautiful day.